Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this result. The result is every convergent sequence is Cauchy. The proof is quite simple, but first of all, we will discuss its geometry, right? What is meaning of convergent sequence? It, convergent sequence, that means there is one fixed point and a sequence xn converges to x, that means all terms of sequence are moving towards a single point. How many terms are there? Infinitely many terms are there and th those are moving towards a single point. So now what is Cauchy sequence? Cauchy sequence that means two uh, distance between two successive terms is reducing and it is going to zero. That means all terms are coming more and more close to each other. Getting? So in case of convergent sequence, if infinitely many terms are there and those are moving towards a single point, then obviously the distance between successive terms will reduce and it will go to zero. That means the nature of Cauchy sequence will definitely appear in case of convergent sequence. But this thing we have to uh, prove it. Okay. Mathematically we have to prove. So let us start with one sequence which is convergent and converges to x. So let me write here. Let xn be a sequence in matrix space xd. So I am taking one sequence and the sequence converges to x. So we have a convergent sequence, right? And now we have to prove that it is Cauchy. To prove that xn is Cauchy, that means we have to prove that it is Cauchy sequence. So obviously with the help of definition, epsilon definition, I am going to prove this one. So one epsilon is required initially. So let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Epsilon is any positive real number here and I am going to use the given information. We have that sequence xn converges to x. Then by definition of convergent sequence we can say for given epsilon but see epsilon already we have taken so I should write therefore for above epsilon greater than 0, there exists a natural number n such that, such that d of xn x less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. So this is definition of convergent sequence. Simply I wrote that thing here. So epsilon is positive real number. Obviously epsilon by 2 is also positive real number. So just for adjustment, in a definition, I am going to replace epsilon by epsilon by 2. Okay, this is just only for adjustment. So, let me call it as 1. So, what is our target? Our target is to prove the sequence xn is a Cauchy sequence. So, when we say the sequence is Cauchy, if d of xn xm, we take two terms of a sequence. Okay, here d of xn xm and we have to prove it is less than epsilon. Okay, so let us discuss. So, consider, I am going to consider d of xn xm. So, we are talking about distance between two terms of a sequence and we have to prove it is less than epsilon, right? So, you are familiar with uh, uh, triangle inequality. So, here also I am going to use triangle inequality, but for triangle inequality, three points are required, right? A, B, C like. So here xn, xm, two points we have, we need to have one more point. So let us use this x, okay? So by triangle inequality, d of xn, x plus d of x, xn, right? So I should mention by triangle inequality, right? Okay. So yes, by triangle inequality, I can write this one. So this is equal to d of xn, x plus d of xm x. Definitely we can interchange them. Okay, so th that is one property of uh, metric symmetry. Getting d of a b, let me write here so you can easily recall. So d of x y is same as d of y x. Distance between x from y, distance of x from y is same as distance of y from x. In the reverse way you will have the same distance. So that's why definitely we can interchange them. So d of x and x you can easily see it is less than epsilon by 2 from this one d of x and x less than epsilon by 2 plus d of x and 
xm x that is also we can write less than epsilon by 2 okay so that n should satisfy the condition then we can use this inequality so here for all i should mention n greater than or equal to capital n similarly if m is also greater than or equal to capital n definitely xm will also satisfy the same inequality so i should write x uh, n and n and m both are greater than or equal to capital n so if both are greater than or equal to capital n you can use this inequality for n and m also so that's why i could write epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 epsilon that is let us conclude now d of xn xm right xn xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n. so this is definition of cauchy sequence so therefore we can declare therefore xn is cauchy so in this way we proved if you have any convergent sequence in a matrix space definitely it is cauchy sequence okay so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you